Welcome to our first episode of Fun Type Facts, a brand new series where we talk about uh, fun facts uh, regarding technology and gadgets, anything that we find absolutely interesting and sometimes quite amazing. Now, you may or may not already know about some of the facts that we present in this uh, series, but we still feel that uh, we can all learn something new about the thing we all love called technology. Now the first fun fact that I want to talk about actually inspired this entire series. When I first found out about it, I had a good time laughing about it and I felt like I wanted to share it with the world. I'm a little late to the party and some of you may already know this fact. And it's about how Mozilla Firefox's name isn't actually based on a fox. In fact, the Firefox name is actually a nickname that is given to red pandas. So Mozilla Firefox is actually based on a red panda. But the logo or the icon on the browser itself, the animal that's hugging the globe, is 100% a fox as confirmed by Mozilla's official Twitter page back in 2018. But they also confirmed at the same time that their mascot is actually a red panda and not a fox. So there's a little bit of a identity crisis right there. But um, you can see where the confusion stems from. Uh, you see the name Firefox and you see a fox hugging a globe in their uh, browser icon. So you assume that the entire name is based on a fox. But no, it's actually based on that cute cuddly creature from Japan called the Red Panda. Now early iterations of the logo for the browser didn't really make clear uh, what the animal was that was hugging the globe. Sure, it looked like a fox, but at the same time, some people were trying to say that, you know, it's indeed a red panda. It looks a lot like a red panda. Something about how the snout doesn't look the same, how the white patches of the animal is on the same place as the animal itself. But to cast out all doubt, a brand new design for the logo was introduced back in 2019 and this time we actually see um, very clearly that it is indeed a fox hugging a globe. Uh, we can see that in the fiery yellow tail, the sharp ears and pointy snout that is very distinctive of a fox. Now of course some of you may already know this fact quite early on but it still made me chuckle when I found out. Um, like I said earlier, I'm a little late to the party and this may be a little irrelevant because the Google Chrome browser still leads the way in uh, usage shares by quite some margin. So, but you know, thanks anyways to Mozilla Firefox for clearing things up. Now speaking of internet, I want to talk about our next fun fact of the day. It's about how wireless internet or wireless networks were first invented. And what's so interesting about this fact is that the whole invention and creation of this technology was done at a beer garden. That's right, a beer garden is where people gather, um, order beer and get absolutely drunk. Now as the story goes, over 40 years ago in 1976, a team of scientists took the internet in the form of a computer, a bunch of cables and a radio. 10 kilometers away from their home base, which also had a similar setup. So you are looking at two similar setups, but one of them, they took all the way to that beer garden that we spoke of. They set it up at a picnic table right outside the uh, establishment. And using cables connected to the radio and the computer, they were able to send data from that computer wirelessly through uh, wireless uh, networks and signals with the radio all the way back to the home base. And many regard this as pretty much the first time um, a wireless network of all networks was invented. At the time, however, the internet wasn't completely new. Uh, scientists and engineers would have been using it already for the purpose of time sharing. But this was really the first time networks were able to go wireless. Uh, people were able to send data from one uh, computer or node to the next um, at greater distances and make internet truly a far-reaching technology. But of course, the internet as we know it today is thanks to the invention of the World Wide Web back in 1989. But of course, that wouldn't have been possible in the first place if it wasn't for those bunch of scientists who went to that beer garden, probably got drunk and invented a brand new technology that we rely so heavily on today. So that's it for our very first episode of Fun Type Facts. We chose to talk about um, the thing that made all this possible, which is the creation of the internet, sort of. It's a pretty short episode, but if you think you want a longer episode or you want to suggest a different topic for us to talk about in the future, do let us know down in the comment section below. So that's it from me today. Remember to like our video, subscribe to our channel. This is Victor signing off. Bye. -bye.